back. Welcome back. Some basketball stuff, dude. Look at these dark circles under the eyes. You know why? Because we stayed up late. We watched some Denver Nuggets. We watched the Minnesota Timberwolves. We had, I had to tell you, we are at the, the time of the basketball season where shit's just weird. Shit's weird. Uh, like, I, I think the best way to encapsulate what last night's uh, basketball was like. I don't know if you guys saw from the uh, the Cavs Grizzlies game, which I know I know everybody was locked into Cavs Grizzlies, but from the Cavs Grizzlies game, let me see if I have this screenshot. Yeah, here it is. Uh, and I don't know which broadcast team did it, whether it was Cleveland or uh, Memphis, but let's let's take a look. It's in a book, Reading Rainbow. Let's look at this. This is this is disrespectful. This is straight up disrespectful right here. But this is what the Memphis season has been like. And this is what it's going to be like for maybe 15, not that, not that many, like six teams here for the next few days. We're just guys. They're just, just guys. Guys, maybe you meet at the laundromat. Guys, you see at the coffee shop. Uh, guys, you see at the YMCA. They're going to, they're going to get, <laughs> they're going to get 10 to 12 minutes uh, a night for Memphis Grizzlies. But man, just wild stuff out there. Wild stuff. But uh, how's everybody doing? I see we got the common man up in here. Sneeps is already dropping some gifts. We got uh, Maddie Harrison here. Stubbs, let's go, Stubbs. Um, Stubbs, how are you feeling about your uh, your calves right now? I also see we have a visitor too. If this is your first time here, join the room. Join the room. So uh, my we get in a little algorithmic boost and we feel good about ourselves. Let's get another sip of coffee in here. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we we had some weird ones last night. We did have some good ones. We had some fun. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Oh, also, yeah, if you missed uh, last night's show, we did the 89 Cavs last night over on our YouTube channel. Uh, so go check that out. If you missed that, we had a fun time. We, uh, you know, we did our awards. Uh, but again, we just kind of goofed around for an hour or so. And just a reminder, May 11th, we're doing that live show. So that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's talk about uh, last night's NBA action. Because uh, we had a handful of games. Uh, and we're now, we are at the point where people are just going to rest. Like, I don't know if you guys saw it, the Celtics play tonight, uh, against the, the Bing Bong boys of New York City, New York City. Uh, and they already, I, I think like Brad Stevens is questionable tonight. Everybody's questionable. Uh, I imagine, uh, it's going to be Peyton Pritchett, kid, Luke Cornette, Oshak Brichette. It's going to be a lot of those guys. It's going to be a lot of those guys out there. Um, but yeah, anyway, so they they play tonight. Uh, but last night, we're, let's let's like bang through some of these games that actually, you know what? No, let's start with the good ones. Let's start with the good stuff here: the Denver Nuggets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. It was a fun one. This was a fun one. A lot of people talking about Christian Brown last night after he slammed it down on Rudy Gobert. Uh, so the Denver wins this game, and what is important about this? I mean, this was really the battle of first place, uh, and. Because Minnesota held the tiebreaker, if if Minnesota had won that game, they pretty much locked up the one seed. But now with this win, Denver uh, puts themselves uh, really in the driver's seat for that one seed. Um, here, let me uh, let's share screen here so we can take a look at the standings and what it looks like in the West. So Denver now fifty six and twenty four with two games left. OKC now has the tiebreaker over Minnesota. It's just crazy that we are this deep into the NBA season. Every team has like two games left and there's three teams within a game uh, for the one seed, which is kind of nuts. Uh, so Denver winning that game was pretty huge. We know that the the air up there, if you will, uh, with the altitude uh, is pretty important. So Denver getting home court. I, I think the team that was down the worst last night was the Lakers because this pretty much guaranteed that the Lakers are going to have to go through Denver. And I think if if you are a Lakers fan, listen, you're probably you're not going to be a favorite going into any of these series, right? So like no matter who you play, you're not going to be a favorite. But I'm sure you the the hopium will take over and you can talk yourself into hey. Hey, maybe we can beat Minnesota. They've never done it in the playoffs. We don't even know who owns the team. Hey, we could beat OKC. They have Amish Abe Lincoln as their big. Anthony Davis in his one eyebrow could dominate Chet Holmgren. Um, but I think going through Denver is a different story. Uh, but as so, like with a couple of games left, right? So Denver, uh, Denver has uh the easiest schedule of them left. They have the Spurs, who uh did not play Wemby last night. They played a bunch of randos, and then they play the Memphis Grizzlies. And we already showed you that screenshot of all the question marks, right? So Denver sitting pretty. But that two seed and the three seed, Minnesota's got two games left uh, against A-Town Down. They got Atlanta and the Phoenix Suns. And then Oklahoma City, one left against Dallas and one left against the Bucks. 
uh, Dallas, who is red hot, which we'll talk about a little bit. Um, and the Bucks now without Giannis for a little bit. So anyways, let's get back to uh, Denver in this game. So Nuggets win 116-107. I'm sure you saw the highlight of Christian downtown Brown throwing it down uh, with the dunk over Rudy. But Jokic, 41-11-7 in this one. Uh, Jamal Murray at 26-4. Michael Porter Jr. at 18-8. The whole team was questionable going into this game. Uh, I think Jokic was actually probable. Like Jamal Murray was questionable. Aaron Gordon was questionable. Everybody ends up playing. Uh, Rudy for them had 13 and 15. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns was on the bench. He looks like he's getting close. There was like rumors that he might play last night. He ended up not being uh, ready to go. And then Ant Man dropped 25. And I wanted to, uh, I don't know if you guys watched this one, but early in the third quarter, Anthony Edwards did something that like got me excited about the future of Ant Man. Uh, and I know everybody's already like drinking the Ant Man Kool Aid, but he came out in the third quarter and it was just bucket after bucket I, in the first four or five minutes kind of took over the game reminiscent to like what we would see the warriors do in those third quarters right i feel like great players are great teams they come out and set the tone like that in a close game when they come out of the half they try to step on the throat right away and it seemed like that's what was happening it seemed like ant-man was single-handedly going to uh, take this team on his back uh and then we were reminded that if the game is close in the fourth quarter the denver nuggets are going to win and that's what happened last night. The uh, the Nuggets just kind of took over down the stretch. Also, I, I it it felt like I tweeted this out this morning. It felt like it it felt like we were having a civil discourse around the MVP. Uh, and then last night, everybody decided to be angry, and not to the point of Jokic and B from two years ago. But uh, it's Luca had a good game in the uh, in the early slate. Luca had a good game, and everybody was like. Oh, uh, why, why is, why is the media giving the MVP to Jokic already? Let's look at the numbers. <laughs> and then, and then the late game happens and Jokic drops a game, uh, game against like the, like for the battle of the one seed. And then it's like, well, okay. Yeah. Maybe Jokic is the MVP. Uh, I, I don't think it needs to be that, that serious. I think like if you are a voter and you vote for Luca, I'm not mad at you. If you vote for SGA, I'm not mad at you. Uh, but if you can't, I don't understand being mad if people are voting for Jokic. Like, are you mad because you aren't like people just have a wild takes. Also, why are we putting Kevin Hart on ESPN streams? What are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know if you guys like, he was out there being like, I just don't, I forget. It was Kevin Hart and somebody else was on there and they were like, I don't know. Uh, I didn't think Jokic did anything that special this year. It's like, what are we talking about, man? Why do we just, it's like the new thing to do is to have just dumb takes and then we'll give you millions of dollars to be on TV and talk about them. I think people, I think people got too excited about the Manning cast. I think this is, you know how like Steph Curry comes out of Davidson goes to Golden State, and then it's like, oh, the sex appeal of shooting three-pointers, right? Everybody gets jacked up about the three-pointers. And then for the next eight years, kids are just pulling up from half court, right? This is the same thing that's happening except with the Manning cast. We were all in lockdown. We're like, hey, Zooms actually work. Let's put some – we'll just have some people Zoom in. Maybe you don't have to be a professional broadcaster. Anybody can do this. And, like, maybe, maybe the Mannings were just great at it. But you know who's not great at it? Kevin Hart. I'm out on the Kevin Hart stuff. Uh, I am out on it. But it felt that way for a while. It's just like, come on. Anybody else? <sighs> Anyways. All right. Enough of that. Let's let's talk about da Dallas is hot as hell right now. The Mavericks uh, have now won five straight. I believe they are 18 for their last 20. I, I think that's right. I'm sure the common man's in the chat. Yeah, all right. 18 of their last 20. Uh, they're just incredible. They beat Miami last night. They are now one game behind the Clippers. The Clippers who decided they didn't want anybody to play basketball last night. Um, they're now only one game back from them. They are like securely in the five seed, like locked in. They they don't have to worry about dropping back to the six seed. Uh, they have uh, they're fifty and thirty while the Clips are fifty one and twenty nine. We look at the Clippers last couple of games. They only have two. It's against the Jazz and the Rockets. Uh, Dallas, on the other hand, they have two against OKC and Detroit. So obviously Dallas' schedule is a little bit harder. But we also don't know who's going to be playing for the Clippers. Uh, the Paul George stuff seemed more like rest. Harden's definitely dealing with a shoulder injury. Uh, Kawhi has got a knee injury, and that, like, no one has said anything about the Kawhi stuff. 
Uh, but Dallas last night, baby, they were hot. Uh, Luca went off. Kyrie went off. They win this game 111 92. Luca dropped 29 9 and 9. Kyrie had 25 and 4. And Tyler, I need a hero, had 21 7 and 6. I will say uh, the schedule gods favored Dallas in this one. Uh, Miami was coming off of a double overtime game against Atlanta. And I'm not making excuses for going to double overtime against Atlanta, who lost to the fucking Troll and Hornets last night. Uh, but they they were exhausted. Uh, like Jimmy Butler and Bam were pretty bad. I was trying to tell Boston base in the chat who had bo- who had Jimmy uh, Jimmy in his uh, fast break. I was like, I don't know, man. Double overtime, don't really love it. Um, and they looked they looked pretty bad last night. But Dallas now uh, again, just like. They've been really good, man. And as long as as long as they're able to get like one guy to pop every game for them that's not named Luca or Kyrie, I don't know. I, I said this last night on the 89 Cavs, right? When you look at the Western Conference and the way that Dallas is playing right now, I mean, Denver's the only team I'm scared of, right? Which kind of like I'm sure uh like common man in the chat, you were probably rooting hard for the Timberwolves last night because you know that you're either gonna be the four or the five seed. And if you win that first round matchup, you're most likely playing whoever the one seed is. And I, I would imagine your confidence level, much like the Lakers, would be a little bit higher if you were like, Okay, let's take on OKC in round two or Minnesota in round two. It kind of sucks that it would be uh Luca against uh Jokic in the second round because I do think that would be like a fun Western Conference finals if we could make it happen. But I I mean I've never felt more confident about a team uh disbanding the Clippers in the first round. Like I think it's gonna be Paul George's last series in LA, at least as the Clipper. Um I, and I, I like the way they're playing right now. I don't even know if it'd be close. I mean listen maybe they're just resting Kawhi. Kawhi's gonna come back and he's gonna be uh the claw and then who cares it's it's over. Um, but I, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, Josh green back fully healthy. Once lively returns. They just, I, I saw a report last night that lively is not returning. Um, but maybe it was just in the regular season. Let me see if I can find it right now. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I saw something that lively is unlikely to return this year. Uh, but maybe they just meant this regular season. Um, let me see. Oh God, I saw it somewhere. There's going to be too many, too many underdog reports. I think I'm looking at Zeke Naji being available right now. That's not super helpful. I thought it was like right before lock last night. Uh, I saw it was just a regular season. Okay. Thank you. Come man. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm just getting to the playoffs. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for Luca magic. Uh, I'm ready. To, I think that Dallas Clippers, uh, first round, like every one of those games is probably going to be a five point game. Even though I do think Dallas wins that series. Come man, do you know if Dallas has the tiebreaker in this one? Because I, I mean, I don't know how much home court will ma- uh, matter in this one, but um, it would be fun. Not with the Clippers, okay. Uh, all right, let's get to some of last night, uh, some of the rest of last night's action. I mentioned the Hornets and the Hawks. Oh, and you know what? Before we do that, let's go look at Miami. I apologize. So Miami drops this game. Uh, they are now a full game back from the Sixers with two games left. I, I, I mean, in my mind. The Heat are the eight seed. Also, look at the Hawks. I saw a tweet today since like January 10th or something or 15th. The Hawks and uh, the Bulls have been the 9 10 matchup. Like we've known this 9 10 matchup since January. But with the last two games left, Miami, who again probably doesn't care where they finish, um, they only have two games left. Why is my computer freezing up? Come on, girl. Here we go. Sorry. Oh my God. Why is this computer freezing up? We're going to have here comes the putter throw. Uh, Wow, this site. Okay, we gotta. I gotta close out. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, with Miami only having a couple games left, my my money is on. Um, my money's on Philly coming out of this one. Probably Miami too. But we are like lined up here for a Miami Boston first round matchup, which is just gonna be spicy. Why is my computer freezing up? What is going on? Can you guys still see me? Okay, or did I glitch up for you guys too? Like even the gifts aren't loading on. Uh, I look normal. Okay, all right. Um, Go- Chrome's not responding. Gosh darn it, Google. Um, man, that's this is real annoying. I was trying to look at what Miami had left here. Um, let's see if it's. This is really good content, guys. Really good content here. Yeah, my man, this sucks. I hope we don't have any visitors here. I hope it's all normies. Like the normies know this is what it's like normally, but 
Uh, anyways, I think we're looking at Philly against Milwaukee. Uh, we The Bucks ended up getting a pretty big win for them. So the, the Giannis news, right, which I know everybody did a podcast uh, about this yesterday. Giannis, who is going to miss the regular season, uh, but it's still kind of murky of what the rest of the uh, rest of this is going to look like um, uh, for like the playoffs where doc seems pretty concerned. Although every single thing that docs ever said is like pretty inflammatory. So, um, but they, they do seem pretty nervous that he might not be ready to go in the playoffs. Everybody's been like, Oh yeah, this is just like a one to two week injury. So maybe he misses the first game of the playoffs or the first or the first two games of the playoff series. But then other people are like, well, it's just the same thing. Kevin Durant had. Uh, so who knows, who knows how cautious they are with it. But, Milwaukee got a win last night against uh, the Orlando Magic, which Orlando Magic had the chance to, right? They were just a game back of Milwaukee heading into this game, and they had a real shot at the two seed. They were without Franz Wagner, but, I mean, the Bucks were without Giannis. Bobby Portis went off, baby. Bobby Portis dropped a 30 bomb on him. 30 points, nine boards, also had five steals. Dame had 29, nine, and six. Uh, Paolo had a ho-hum game, 26 and six. Uh, Suggs had 18. Cole Anthony had 23 off the bench. Um, that was a pretty big win for Milwaukee. To, they basically secure the two seed there. I know they still like the Knicks technically could still catch them, but they get a game and a half lead on the Bing Pong boys, which really is setting us up, right? The play in is going to be Philly against Miami. The winner of that game is going to get Milwaukee. And I was saying this last night. I mean, like if you are, that game becomes so important because I know Miami has the confidence of Eddie house in 2007, but the, they, they, you would much rather play this Milwaukee team with Giannis, who looks to be dinged up heading into the playoffs again. Dame, who is only allowed to play one good game out of every five, like they're relying on Bobby Portis to drop 30 in a game. If you are Miami or Philly, you're like, dude, we can get into the second round here as a seven seed, uh, especially with the way the Sixers are playing. So I think that seven eight matchup is going to be fire. Um, does ATL have a chance versus Chicago in the heat? I listen, common man. Uh, I don't trust a Atlanta at all. I, I actually think like Chicago seems to play close games. Every, every single game is a close game for Chicago. So I, my money would be more on Chicago than Atlanta. Now uh, we can talk about Atlanta right now. Right. So Trey young returned last night. They, they lost this game. I'm not going to blame it on Trey. They were without uh, everybody. I think, um, DeJounte Murray sat. They also had, uh, uh, what's his name? DeAndre Hunter sat. Jalen Johnson sat. Uh, Trey Young played limited minutes in this one, um, but still dropped a double-double in it. He had 19 and 11, but it wasn't enough to take down the CLT. Uh, as the Hornets come back and win this game, 115-114. Uh, Krejci had 19. Bogey had 19 and 8. But as the Brandon Miller show, uh, Brandon Miller had incredible highlights in this game. He dropped 27. Uh but again, uh, Atlanta played a double overtime game the night before. I know uh, Charlotte was on a back-to-back -to -back too, but yeah, Trey Mann was the player of the game. Trey Mann was balling. He was all over the court last night. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I don't. I think the nine ten. I mean, Miami does no show games sometimes. You know, Miami does no show games sometimes. So I could see like the Bulls or Atlanta winning two in a row and getting themselves in the eight seed. But my, I, I my guess is that it's going to be. Philly in the seven, Miami in the eight, and then we're gonna get uh, Celtics first Heat and uh, and Bucks versus Sixers. Any scare? I didn't think the scary Terry injury was serious. Regulator, I uh, saw your question in the chat. I I didn't think that was serious. I thought that was more of a rest thing. Uh, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. I wasn't locked into hashtag Heat culture injuries. Um, but that'll be that that would definitely be a problem. Although I will say Terry Rogi, uh, Terry Rogi, Tyler Hero looked nice last night for Miami, so that is a good sign for them. But anyways, good win for Charlotte there. A uh, couple more to get through here. Uh, in Ben Folds Five's battle of who could care less, the Brooklyn Nets beat the Raptors 106-102. Uh, Emmanuel quickly had 32 9 and seven. Big Grady Dick Energy dropped 24 and four. Uh, Nick Claxton with a double double at 14 and 11. Dennis Schrader at 21, 9 and 7. And Scam Thomas at 23 and 4. Hey, uh, did Mikel Bridges quite quit this season? What's going on? What's going on? I wasn't expecting him to drop like 30 like he did the whole second half of the season last year. This is crazy. I mean, he's, I feel like he's ever, let's actually look at this. I'm going to go to statmuse.com. Uh, let's look at uh, Mikel Bridges' uh, last. 30 games. That's a pretty big sample size, right? Last 30 games, he's averaging 16 points, four boards, and three and a half assists. What's going on? What's going on? Mikel Bridges is falling down. 
What happened? Um, but that, I mean, you couldn't get me to watch that game. I did smash a bunch of Emmanuel quickly overs. That was kind of fun. Uh, we did enjoy that, but that that's the closest to I me paying attention that happened. Um, I feel like I ended up not talking about the Cavs Grizz after all that, after when the Cavs won 110, 80, uh, 98. Uh, Donovan Mitchell had 29 in that game. GG, I'm sorry, Jackson had 22. Veronica in the chat. What's up, Veronica? You just missed me talking about the Heat, so you should feel good about that. You didn't have to see any of it. Uh, we'll move quickly through that game. You had OKC won 127-89, and then the Suns and the Clippers was the last game of the night. Uh, Suns won 124-108, and good Lord, uh, Clippers sat everybody, and it was Sneeps. I hope you're ready because this is your moment, Sneeps. Bones. Bones Highland, baby. He dropped 37 points in this game, uh, but not enough. As Booker also dropped 37, KD at 24, and Phoenix gets a much-needed win. Uh, I know, Veronica. I'm sorry. Every time this year, you guys, you're going to have to battle it out. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about tonight's action. Tonight, we have a handful of games here, right, as we go over to April 11th. We've got New York at Boston, but again, Boston's not really trying. Chicago and Detroit, uh, they're coached by Monty Williams, so they're not really trying either. Houston at Utah, that's going to have a ton of points. Golden State at Portland. Golden State still has an outside shot, which actually, let's look at this real quick. Golden State still has an outside shot. Uh, if the Kings lose tonight and the Warriors win, that's going to put them at 45 and 35. They'll both be at 45 and 35. The Kings, the Lakers, and the Warriors would all be at 45 and 35 which is kind of wild. Uh, and then the last game, yeah, we were mentioned the Pellies at Sacramento Kings, which is big too, because uh, the Pels right now have a half game lead over the Suns, two game lead over the Kings. Uh, but it, that is going to be massive game. I imagine the Pels are good to go. I don't know if Ingram is back yet. I, I know they keep like flirting with it, but I think they're trying to hold off as long as possible. Uh, so let's real quick here. Lakers have two games left. They've got the Pelicans this weekend and the Grizzlies this weekend. You've got the Warriors with a couple games left, the Pelicans, and then uh, the Blazers tonight and the Jazz. So they have the Warriors still with three games left. And then the Sacramento Kings here with three games as well, Pelly, Suns, and Blazers. So, man, the Kings are in trouble. The Kings are going to need a big old Saboner and Fox Knight here to make some magic happen. But they, they are in trouble. I can't remember going into the last weekend with this much at stake uh, in the regular season. Like, this, this is nuts, right? Like. We have no idea who's going to be the one, two, three seed. The four, five is still up for debate. You've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all kind of still uh, in flux in the West. In the East, right? Uh, it does seem like Celtics and Bucks are one, two. The Knicks have a half game lead over the Cavs. The Magic, a full game behind the Cavs. Um, the Pacers are tied with the Magic. The Sixers still just a game back, right? Who do the Sixers? Let's do the Sixers, Pacers, and Heat. Who do they have left? Um, Philly here has one against the Magic, which that's huge, and then one against the Nets. The Magic, too, right, who we were just saying could be a two seed. They, they also could still get into the play-in. They're only one game. They were – last night we were like, dude, the Magic could be the two seed. Now, if they lose to the Sixers, they could be in the freaking play-in. Oh, man. Crazy, crazy wild stuff here coming down the stretch. I don't know. Uh, Regulator said the Clippers are a bit on the road. Does the fourth seed matter to them? No, probably not. I think they're more concerned about uh, the claw being healthy. And the James Harden shoulder thing seems to be like one of those lingering injuries that's going to be around. Like, I know he was able to play through it, but if you compare his first, like, since the trade, that like first two months, uh, well, the first five games were bad, but then they ran, went on like a 20 game stretch where Harden was like all star level James Harden. He's been pretty bad for the last, not bad, but like not himself. Turn the keys over to Russ, baby. Just let Russ cook. Um, or Bones. Maybe this is Bones season. But yeah, we got a, a wild stretch here. Um, coming up. Uh, also, hey, just a reminder, uh, speak it because I was about to say like this weekend's going to be nuts. Uh, Worldwide Wob tomorrow. Worldwide Wob coming on Team Hold. Uh, I think we're going to broadcast this to like all of our channels. I think it'll be on Twitter. It'll be on um, the Team Hold So Rare and the Team Hold main account and the So Rare account. I think we're just going to get that up there as much as possible. Uh, but tomorrow at five, five, live at five, uh, Worldwide Wob is going to be on and we're going to uh, take a look at the playoff picture. Uh, and then he's going to build out his playoff so rare lineup. And then uh, then we're going to do our normal live before lock from 530, 630 with all the NBA injury news. And just buckle up because 
Oh, uh, just about every basketball team plays on Friday, and then every basketball team plays on Sunday. Nobody plays on Saturday. Um, so it's going to be – there's going to be so many crazy things because you look at teams like like Brook, like I might play for Brooklyn this weekend. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be some ugly, ugly stuff. But I'm excited, man. I'm so ready for the playoffs. The play-in next week. Um, I was talking with Weisberg about it a little bit. Uh, we're going to – and I mentioned it earlier this week, but we are going to fire up so many freaking – playback streams for the playoffs. So get hyped for that. I hope you guys are hyped for that. Uh, any other basketball uh, stuff from last night that you guys wanted to talk about? Um, I think we covered most of it. We're going to build some pickums over on IKB here in a second. Um, we get the masters today too. We get the, I, uh, I like ate into a bunch of master stuff. Actually, you know what we should do together instead? We can talk pickums while we do this. Let's do uh, NBA best ball drafts since those are starting to fill up uh, pretty quickly. Uh, let me stop sharing this screen. Uh, I've been doing a bunch uh, lately now that they've been filling up, uh, which has been which has been fun. I've, I've gotten some really fun Denver Nuggets builds, which has been cool. Um, I had one yesterday where I was able to get just about – I was able to – my first four picks were Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., and Aaron Gordon. I couldn't believe I got all four of them. But we'll go over to Underdog here. Let's go over to the dance. Uh, I think I've done like 30 or 35 of these so far. I think I'm going to cap out at 50, though. I know last year I did all 150. I don't think I'm going to do that. Waiting for four people if anybody wants to dive in. Uh, while we wait, you guys want to build some pickums here? Um, I'll wait for this to fill. Actually, let's go over to IKB to do our pickums. Um, you guys got you guys. Oh, smart! We got Matic Auto in the chat. Let's go, Matic Auto. God, why is my my computer is annoying today? Uh, all right, this is waiting for three to fill. Ta uh, Common man, who who do we got for uh for picks today? Who do we got for picks today? What are we liking? I had a weird night last night where I smashed a couple of things. I was early on the Bogdanovich uh, news. Like I, I nailed uh bogey about like 10 minutes before they ruled out DeJounte Murray, but I had Kyrie Irving over uh four and a half uh assists and he got to four last night, which was pretty tough. Pretty tough. Uh I I kind of like uh the Bulls are playing Detroit. I kind of like Kobe White over four and a half assists. I like starting there. Um, especially because Io is questionable again. Caruso looks like he's gonna play. Uh for the Knicks, it's weird because like I feel like I just always want to take Jalen Brunson overs because like the Knicks do still need to win. I feel like the Celtics aren't really going to try. Maybe we just take Hartenstein rebounds. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Oh, I do want to take over Fred Van Fleet seven and a half assists against Utah. Fred Van Fleet should cook. Should cook. Uh, eight and two. I kind of like the lower of 23 and a half points. I know Aiton's been on fire right now, but Golden State's probably not the matchup you want. Probably not. Uh, what's Zion's points here against the Kings? Actually, let's let's just do the Zion points. Let's do this. I'm going to do Kobe White over four and a half. Freddie over seven and a half. Zion over 26 and a half. Let's do that. Also, let's check in. Did they do the, uh, the airdrop for today? Let me just refresh that to make sure. All right, they haven't done it yet. They haven't done it yet. Hey, we still need three more for the dance. Here, let me see if I can get uh let me see if I can get some people in here. Sometimes part of Pete Overzet's Discord, sometimes they just be like, hey, come on, get in here. Get in here, girl. Either that or we'll call it here, but I don't want to stop here. We're only 30 minutes in, you know? We're only 30 minutes in. Uh are you guys are you guys Matt golf fans? Are people excited about the Masters? I try to talk myself into it. I did some albatross, uh, like the <clears throat> albatross is like the best ball for golf. But oh, is UFC three hundred this weekend? What is the uh, what's the marquee fight for UFC three hundred? What's it? What is the the marquee fight? The headliner. I'm, I'm fucking talking in comedy terms. Who's the headliner? Who's the opener? Oh, waiting for two more. We're almost there. We're almost there to the dance. Oh, you know the other thing that I was going to do? I'm going to do this right now, actually. For people who had created an IKB account. Um, oh, Pereira versus Hill. Thank you. For uh, people that created an IKB account I uh, and put the shit in the Discord, 
Um, I'm going to give away that Dame, that Dame limited right now. So there were 23 people that created one. Let's do it. Common man, did you create one? I just know you're not active in the Discord. So if you created one, I'll add you to this right now. But honor system. Negative. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. If you win. The Dame Lillard so rare limited card, baby. Woo, is it going to details or Red Walker? The details. Yeah, the Dame is in the details. Congrats, details. Wow, big dubs. Big dubs. Uh, let me go back to uh, the dance here. Oh, we filled it up, baby. That's what she said. Uh, let's see who we got. Who we got. What pick did we get? Ooh, fifth pick. Might be Luca. Might be Luca time. Uh, do Oh, we have one visitor. Listen, if you're a visitor, join the room. Join the room. Who else we got here? Who didn't I say hi to? Yotes is here. TST's here? TST, are you at work? Jack B, let's go. Paul Toth's in the house. JJL's up early or late, actually. JJL, are you up late? Who's t uh, Parental leave still. Dude, man, I need to move to Canada. You've been on parental leave since 2018. Oh, and TST's in the draft. He's got the two pick. Wow. Wow. There we go. There we go. Drafting against the enemies. Oh. I'm leaving an Incubus in... Wait. You saw Incubus in live? Do you know how many mixtapes I burned to those bros? Landing and gracious in old mother dash. I can feel it. Curl me in bed again. Wow, wait, and now at the oh yeah, Incubus is drive, right? Whatever tomorrow brings I'll be there. Yeah, baby. God. Was that about drinking and driving? God, man. I forget what that song's about. Those are those are my jams, dude. I loved live. I remember driving in that 80, what was it 89, 88? Cutlass Supreme, an Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. All right, I, I would like Luca or SGA to fall to me here with the fifth pick, but I think it's going to be Yanis and Tentacupo, although I don't think I want to draft Yanis. I'm actually going to take uh, Joel Embiid here if SGA goes. Wow, Luca went three. I'm going to take Joel Embiid if he does. Oh, Buick LeSabre. Dude, I wanted a LeSabre. I didn't old. Uh, wait, no, it's... Oh, yeah, and my second card, Jalen Brown before Shea Gilders Alexander, Wave Rider, are you high? Um, I uh, I really want, I know, my second car was a Dodge Shadow, which they, and this was in 2002, this was in 2002, and they they had already stopped making it. They had already start, stopped making that car. And then my dad, or was it my mom, they would always go, I'm driving a Dodge Shadow. I don't think that's how the song went, but they they had some dumb song that went along with it. Uh, oh, we get a, a SGA Joel and Bead start. Let's go. Let's go. Now let's let's populate this shit with some thunder. Let's get him in the queue. Chet, J-Dub, Giddy, and then let's get some sexers in here. Let's throw Maxi, Tobias, Melton, Kelly, Oobs. Yeah, everybody in the chat, drop your first car. First car in the chat. Put it in there. What's everybody? What was everybody's whip? Still haven't owned a car. Have you ever leased a car, TST? Do you live in like the city city? A Volvo 240DL. There we go. 85 Ford Ranger. Let's go, Paul. That's that's a good one. 1994, I drove an 88 to Toyota Camry. Okay. This is good. We should have done this. This is great content. We should have done this a while ago. All right. I need. I would like. I might have to take J-Dub before Chet. No, lease either in the city and use a car sharing. Oh yeah, cool. Well, what's the name of it? What's what is what's Canadian? We had zip zip car. Is that what's called zip car? 
Now there's another one in New York. I forget what that one's called. 86 Old Mobile Cutlass. Jack, the Cutlass Supreme? Or was it a cut? That's that was the car I had. I think mine was 88, though. It was a, it was like a, a maroon, a burgundy. Honestly, it's pretty sick. Handle was up top. That's what I remember. The handles were up top. Like eye level handles to open the door. It felt kind of badass. It wasn't. It was, it was more frustrating than anything. All right. I, I think I'm going to take Joe. Oh, man. I don't really know. I actually think I'm going to go. I'm going to take Chet and then just hope J-Dub gets there. I'm going to hope he's not going to go wing, wing, wang, wang. Like, I'm hope he's not going to do that because he this guy's got to take Dame, but he could take J-Dub with a second. I hope I hope I didn't mess that up. Welcome, man. Your mom had good taste. All right. Sierra. There we go. Nice. I'm going to tell you, if I get J-Dub here, this is a nice start. Also, this guy's on drugs if he doesn't take Damian Lillard. What is he doing? I guess he wanted two Celtics. Above. All right. Whatever, dude. Live your life. Live your life. That's a, that's a, the guys, this is a bad, that's a, this guy's doing a bad job. Uh, But right, unless you're in the chat, I appreciate you being here. So we've got an SGA, J-Dub, Joel Embiid, Chet, Holmgren. Now we need Maxi to get here. Who's TST taking? TST had Ant-Man, Tatum, and Kawhi. That's a fun start. I do think like the best value in uh, best ball right now is the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're not getting drafted high enough for where they are. Um, like Ant-Man in the second round is, is kind of crazy. I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, it is crazy, actually. All right, I don't think Maxie is going to make it. To this guy's got four guards, Luca Holiday, Kyrie. At least he's got two teammates here. All right, I would. I, I probably got to go Mac. If Maxie gets to me, Maxie in a wang. Throw Jimmy Butler in the queue, maybe. I got too much Jimmy Buckets, if I'm being honest. Oh, TST. No, don't do it, TST. Don't you dare take Tyrese Maxie. Don't you dare do it, TST. Oh, TST, he's stuck between two guys, though. He's letting the clock wind down. Look at all these badge bros in here, too. <clears throat> all right, come on. Kate Middleton goes. Man, remember when everybody was talking about that for, like, 10 days? Actually, it's probably only, like, four days. Oh, Maxie got. Guys, I really like this team right now. We're going to move Jimmy Butler up here because we do need another wing. And if Jimmy doesn't go, we'll take Paolo. Explaining not owning a car to Americans out this, outside the city. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess like I always assumed, though, those ride sharing or I mean, those car sharing things wouldn't be super available. Oh, Jimmy went. Fuck. Wouldn't be super available outside the city. You know, like that. Those are very like. In the city, you can get those anywhere. I low-key kind of want to take Zion over Paolo. How do you guys think about that? Like, I'm a little bit nervous about the Magic right now. And I feel like the Pels have a better chance of actually, like, they're... I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take Zion. Because of that, we're going to put Ingram in there. And then I tell you what, if Paulo comes back to me, I'll take him there again. Maddie said, I drove an 88, 88 Pontiac 6000 in high school. One day while I was driving, I bumped the steering wheel with my knee and the keys fell out of the ignition and the car kept running. That's wild. I remember my, uh, my, the Cutlass Supreme, um, that, that died in the middle of, a the engine just died in the middle of an intersection. I mean, an intersection in Lakeville, Massachusetts, which is home to like 3000 people and 4,000 cranberry bogs. Um, and so it wasn't that scary, but I do remember being like 16, 17 and that just died in the middle of the road. And then the Dodge, uh, the Dodge shadow. I, I remember when I got that, I didn't know how to drive stick and that was a stick. And, uh, my dad like took me out twice. We lived in like a cul-de-sac to like teach me how to do it. Teach me how to Dougie. And, and then they had to go away for a week and they were like, Hey, listen, you got to pick your sister up from practice, like on Friday and Saturday this week. 
And like, I still didn't know how to drive. And I just had to fucking figure it out. Like, and I re that's the scaredest I've ever been in my life. Just being 17 in this little black piece of shit box. And then, then having like my siblings live in my hand, like it was like, if I die, fine. But, um, all right, well, let's see. We're back on the clock here. Um, Oh God, I don't want to take Tobias Harris. I also don't really trust that LeBron's going to be in here. Um, we are going to take Toby. We need to get another. Um, actually, let's take Giddy first. Let's take Giddy first. Um, let's see what we got. I actually, I'm not hating this build here. Uh, all right, Tess said they've expanded pretty rural regions. People need to get work. Please tip that. Yeah, that's great, man. I'm I'm for it. Uh, second car was a Pontiac Grand Prix with the handles up on the door. Yeah, that do your handles up on the door, baby. Put white fire decals on the side. Of course you did. I I judge people so hard that put those decals up. I'm not gonna lie, Snoop. It was a different time though. I get it. Tesla, it seriously was. I and again, I I don't live in any like there there wasn't a lot going on, but I distinctly remember getting stopped at a light. I was stopped at a light. Uh, and I, I had to, I had to go right, uh, and the car, uh, the car, like I burned it out like three or four times. It was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. But then once I got the handle of it, uh, the hanger stick, I really did enjoy it. I used to love, uh, I, there was this like big hill on my way back from work. Uh, I used to love picking up speed. I don't know. In my head, I was I was poor. In my head, I was like, I'm gonna save so much fucking gas. And I I would I I had like a mile and a half left to get home. And I would jack this thing up, get it up to about 60, 65, and then put it into uh neutral. Not yeah, put it into neutral and just just vibe, just vibe down the hill, pick up some more speed. And then I mean I I'd be taking left turns. Like it was great. It was great. It is the old, yeah. No one knows how to do it anymore. Uh, we also put neons on the underbody. Yeah, dude, that that is wild, Snoop. That is wild. I was living in Manny says I was living in Vermont when I first learned to drive stick. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. When the Ranger went out, my uncle gave me his old '86 Chevy. Ooh, baby, memories. Huh? We're all washed, guys. We are all so washed. Ooh, Tobias? Oh, no, I took Tobias. So right now, just a real quick recap. We got SGA, Giddy, J-Dub, and Chet. So there we go. We got our four Tunders. We got Maxi, Tobias, and Embiid with the Zion one-off. We're going to take Brandon Ingram right here. And then I think we're going to take D'Anthony Mill. Guys, I really – this is the most coordinated team that I've drafted. This is good. How's TST doing? Let's see. TST's got Ant-Man, Conley, Rudy, and Cat. There you go. You got uh, Kawhi, Paul George, Zubac. There you go. This guy had four guards and took Westbrook. Yeah, that's rude. I right, guys, I really like this team. I mean, it's going to suck when, like, the Sixers don't even make it out of the play-in, but um, damn, I was really hyper mileage. <laughs> <laughs> uh i it was embarrassing back then it was i used to work at old navy and it was uh it was about like a 15 minute uh yeah about a 15 minute ride from old navy to my home and there was like one cop um there was like one cop in the town at that time so it was like pretty easy to just like you know gun it not get caught Memories, guys. Memories. Oh, jump shoot in the chat. What's up, jump shooting? Is NBA NFT? I don't know, man. I don't even know how to check that anymore. Although, you know what is dead? I was having fun with like my little bets meme coin. And then Beanie, which I, di I didn't even know Beanie was still alive or I thought he was canceled at one point. He woke up and just made fun of bets and then everybody sold it. I think that's actually a good life lesson for us all. Like if. If something, if value can be tanked by somebody named Beanie, maybe you shouldn't do it. Uh, all right, that was my 37th dance. Let's see what, what's my exposure so far. Let's see what the exposure. Uh, so this is 36 so far. Wow, I got a lot of Zion, a lot of Jalen Brunson. I took a lot of CJ early, a lot of Jimmy, Ingram, Paolo. 
I still have 25% Jokic, though, which is pretty nuts out of a six-person draft to get him. JJL said I used to do shipment at 5 a.m. at Old Navy. Cops loved to visit me when we parked outside of 4th. Yeah, I bet. Man, Old Navy was such a weird job. It was kind of, it was funny because I was there. I was like a high school student. I was like, I worked there my junior and senior year of high school. And, but I had like real leadership responsibility. Like I was, I was a front end supervisor, which meant I was like in charge of the money at the end of the night. Like I, I was like five foot one, like 40 pounds. And I was in charge of the money at old Navy, which is just, and I remember like there were people who were in their third and this is like, listen, a job's a job, get that cash. However you're going to do it. But there were people in their thirties there that I was like telling what to do. And in the, in the moment, I did not think this was weird in retros. I remember I went to one year of college and then I came back and I did like a, I worked there for the holidays just to like pick up some extra cash. And I remember being like, this is insane that I had responsibility. It's crazy. Um, did this story invent the drop? You are more responsible. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's where it came from. Yeah. Wild time. Old Navy. Um, it was a, a cool. Cold, what's it? Cold year? What's cold? College. I get it. You were doing a bit. You spelled college wrong. I get it. Hell yeah, JJL. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, all right, dudes. We're gonna call it there. Main reason I gotta go move the laundry over. I was gonna do another draft and I was like, I gotta move the laundry over. Uh that's it for content for today, except you know, those fast break freaks. I'll have something there for you a little bit later. Jump shoot, who does Tandy have on tonight? Again, I won't know because I still have Tandy muted. I unmuted him for a little bit, but he's still now he's Parma Pharma. Is he is he farming big pharma? I forget what he's doing. I had to I can't I can't see it. Can't have it on the timeline. Uh but tomorrow, big day tomorrow. We got, I don't know, like 35 shows. Make sure you go tune in. If you missed 89 Cavs, go watch that. Uh go watch that. Go catch up on that. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh if you're on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, come join us live on playback, uh 9 a.m. Monday through Friday. Come hang out. All right, everybody, have a great day. Have a blessed day.